my finish is done. If you've done another finish besides French polish, you've done something else, um, awesome. Please share with me um, what you're doing. I'd love to see it. I'm gonna take the tape off because it is time to put the neck on. It is about time, friends. If you've done taping like this, you may need to take a razor along the edge of the tape to break that shellac. Because we don't want to rip up our shellac and peel our French polish right off the guitar. That would be, oof, that'd be awful. Looks like I left a little bit of blue tape on there. Gotta get that off. Okay. All right, now we have bare wood. I'm gonna take this. Looks like I got a little bit of shellac where I didn't have tape covering. Now I'm gonna put some clamps on this underneath. Remember, we have to go over the upper transverse bar and get a clamp probably right on our popsicle stick brace. I'm going to try and get um, a clamp here, a clamp here, and maybe a clamp here right around this area. I've gotten all the tape removed from the neck. Take one more look at the neck and make sure there aren't any glue deposits, dust, debris, anything like that, especially right in this corner that would cause us to have a uh, bad glue up. Okay, that looks pretty clear to me. I like it. Okay, still looks like it fits pretty well, but it does look like I've got a couple of hard wax oil deposits right here that I do want to take care of. Let's scrape those off. Check the other side. I'm not scraping hard enough to remove any wood. Just lightly scraping to pull some of that hard wax oil that it dried. That's it. Fit looks great, happy with that. Now it is time to put some glue on this. I also need to prepare my clamps and part of that is to put a um, large call inside here on the other side of this transverse brace because otherwise I will crush that transverse and I want to get behind it and get it tall enough so that my clamps um, can clear it when I'm clamping down. Remember that your clamping call on the inside needs to accommodate for the truss rod. That's why I use this. Check that. Yep, that fits just fine. Cool. All right. Now it's time for some glue. And these are the clamps I'm going to be using. Clamping call for the top of the fretboard. Since I'm really focused on just gluing the spruce to the underside of the fretboard, I am not going to focus on gluing the fretboard itself because I'm could 
end up with more glue running down into uh, the mortise. And I don't need to glue the neck to the guitar at the mortise. Those bolts are going to do plenty of holding. Uh, it's this part on the top that is going to offer us um, really security and continuity between the neck and the guitar. Sure, the barrel nuts are aligned correctly. Okay, the, my neck bolts are semi tightened inside of there. Finish off those bolts, screw them into place. Similar to how I used the bag of shot to install the frets here, I've got the call inside. I'm going to flip this upside down. Got my call upside down, of course, because uh, I also, this is profiled a little bit for that radius. Of the fretboard. One more right on the very edge. So now the neck is gluing. I'll let this sit for 45 minutes or so, uh, maybe an hour. Then after about uh, 10 minutes or so, just take a look underneath and I can see I've got a little bit of squeeze out under there, um, right there behind the call that I do want to make sure I get. So I'll leave this on for about 10 minutes um, pull the clamp off, get that squeeze out. Have any on this side? Yep, just a little bit. So get those squeeze outs taken care of before they get too hard and dry on the finish. Um, and then I'll put the clamps back on, leave it in for uh, 45 minutes to an hour, and then pull the clamps off, and we'll get started on mounting the bridge. Mm -hmm. 